Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan and I'm the CTO at Mirrorworld and I'm excited to bring to you the Mirrorworld Mobile SDK for the Solana Summer Hackathon of 2022. Uh, the Mirrorworld Mobile SDK uh, seeks to provide high conversion Web3 infrastructure for the mobile and the web so you can build all your applications rapidly and effectively. So it's no hidden secret that uh, building uh, Web3 applications for mobile devices is, is very complex. And this complexity is shared not only by developers, but also users as well. Uh, for developers, the common challenges that we encounter when uh, entering into blockchain development, uh, for example, in Solana would be uh, managing, understanding what wallets are, uh, managing seed phrases, uh, signing of transactions and parsing of instructions, account serialization and deserialization, uh, figuring out how to query state from the blockchain. And all this, and, and these are things that you have to actually be uh, confident with before you can actually be productive on Solana. Um, and then on the end user uh, perspective, you the, the user themselves, for them to be able to be comfortable on Web3, is they have to understand that some of the concepts that developers understand, like key pairs, managing key pairs, but they also have to download a wallet, a wallet extension so they can interact with the blockchain. Uh, they have to probably download a mobile app as well. Um, they have to learn the same security concepts, how to keep your seed phrase secure. And uh, they also have to click pop-ups every now and then because they have to interact with these transactions so before they can approve them uh, and so on the mobile device that means you have to switch from your mobile app go into another app sign the transaction and then return to to do what you were doing previously we are familiar with this pain at Mirrorworld. we know the pain both from the user perspective because we've, we've, we've been building games as well as well as uh, develop the development side as well so since we have this experience we've tried to garner a lot of this uh, the things we have learned and some of the uh, the solutions we have built to some of these problems and package them into a, a nice SDK that can now be consumed by pretty much any uh, any consumer any application builder and this is why we built the mirror world mobile SDK so we could take the complexity out of the development experience so developers can focus on building the applications they want to build and users can enjoy the applications that they, they download so what exactly is the Mirror Mobile SDK? Uh, it's a high conversion Web3 uh, infrastructure uh, solution for uh, web mobile and the web. So what does that mean? Uh, we provide cross-platform SDKs. Uh, so they work on Android, they work on iOS, they work in Unity, they work on the web, they work on pretty much any client that you can provide. Uh, they also eliminate the hassle interacting on the blockchain. So you spend right less code for less blockchain code and more application level code. Uh, so to speak. So what that means is that now we remove a lot of the inconveniences that prevent your users from actually converting and actually using your application. So what are the, some of the features that it builds? It, it, it contains it contains a authentication API, so you can actually uh, authenticate your users using social authentication. We all know that it's a very good option for uh, for 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 applications as and mobile as well for games as well uh, as well as email and password and each account that is then created on 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 your mirror world application is then assigned a key a key pair uh, as a, pri a public and private key uh, so they have a wallet address and uh, we, we 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 actually encrypt this uh, the, the secret key on our wallet solution which you can read about um, in our documentation on the marketplace side uh, we've created a uh, a, a solution that allows you to create a marketplace instance and we also have an SDK uh, that allows you to mil mint and list NFTs uh, create an, an, an marketplace instance this is based on on the Solana auction house program you can list you can uh, you can buy NFTs you can cancel listings you can update listings and uh, the API is actually declarative you just pass it the public key the uh, and uh, the, the amount depending on um, the mint address that is and the amount depending on the method that you're calling so it's as declarative as possible it's very simple to to, to interact with and uh, we also provide apis for you to create verified uh, collections on solana you can mint nfts you can query nfts by the owner by the creator by update authority and you can also query an nfts transaction history in a specific marketplace um, you can also uh, query re get real-time updates for the marketplace we have a web sockets uh, uh, emitter that's actually producing these events um, on the wallet side you can query your users tokens you can query their transaction history from the from the wallet address that's assigned to them they can transfer tokens to and from the wallet they can swap tokens uh, we're working with some ecosystem partners on this you can also have a crypto on-ramp we we spoke to uh, one of our partners as we're preparing to enter the 
the hackathon and uh, they provide us with an API. It's not yet ready for the demo yet, but uh, we're actually currently working on it. Um, you can, for the gaming side, because one of our games that we build is actually consuming this, you can deposit tokens, you can spend them and you can earn, you can withdraw. So we have an, a, a program that actually enables this on the, uh, on, the, on the gaming ecosystem side where you have a bit of tokenization going on. Uh, we also are seeking to provide object storage uh, for files that you upload to the blockchain, uh, you don't need to, pro if you don't want to, you can choose not to provide, to, to provision them for yourself. Uh, we're providing an object storage solution as well that is decentralized. So um, this SDK, like we mentioned earlier, is built uh, for Android. We have, we also built a JavaScript SDK. We also built a Unity SDK and we are planning to build for Rust and for uh, Swift as well. And um, enough talking, uh, I think I, I should show you the demo. Great, so I'm um, just gonna uh, head on over to my desktop here. Let's don't mind this really cool developer just uh, coding there. And um, this is, this is uh, the result of what we built on the SDK. Uh, this is on my Android phone. It's actually in the mobile browser. And you, as you can see, you log in with, with Google Authentication. And um, I selected the account. That, that's my wallet balance. And now it will show me the, the public key associated to my account. And uh, now you can invoke some of the methods on the SDK, which will return the tokens. It will also return the transactions. Um, it will also uh, allow me to transfer tokens to and fro. And uh, I think if I scroll down here, I can show you how I was able to mint an NFT in like 30 seconds. Um, the way that I did that was um, uh, you provide the name of your NFT collection. Um, you can also uh, pass in the symbol for your collection, the metadata for your collection, and it will create a verified instance for it on the chain. And uh, just give it a second to do that. Right, there it is. Um, and it actually minted it. So now in the next, I'm taking this collection mint address and I'm going to uh, pass it into my NFT uh, uh, method. So now it's gonna mint an NFT, a new NFT into that collection. And uh, in a moment, we'll be able to see it on the Explorer. So this is happening on my phone. I'm literally doing this. Um, and think about the things you could build with this. Um, if you want to, uh, if, you, if you're a game developer, this makes things a lot a lot easier. If you want to tokenize something, if you want to make like an NFT out of something, it makes it very easy and you have a verified collection. So it, it, will, it will fall under the right API. And uh, I have, we have, we have, to, we have the, the Solana Metaplex team to thank for this because they spent a lot of work you know, on this. And this is the newly minted NFT. Um, it, you can explore it on the Explorer. I, I went there on my mobile phone. Um, this is the NFT we just minted. There it is. Um, it's a, from a verified collection, as you can see, and it has actual transaction history uh, that was just created like uh, literally less than a minute ago. Yeah, and that is our web demo. I'll also show you our uh, Android demo as well. This one is in Chinese, so uh, please bear with me. Um, here we built an Android app, and um, the SDK is typically initialized with the, uh, the API key, so we passed in the API key, as you can see. So uh, our developer, Tianguo, one of the guys on our team, he put in uh, his API key in here. And uh, now he was able to uh, authenticate and log in using the, the, the web, uh, the, using the, the social authentication interface, as you can see. And um, that will then, uh, so he's just gonna go through the process with his, with his account. And that will then push him back to uh, the application. So he hasn't left the app and they're logged in and they have a wallet address. And now, uh, as you can see here, he's gonna try and query um, the, uh, the, the tokens uh, inside of this wallet. And um, actually this, uh, this, this was happening. Yes, as you can see, uh, this is very, this is actually the same as the web interface as you saw earlier. And this returns his tokens and, uh, and so on and so forth. This returns the transactions. Um, and we, we will put this video also as part of the package uh, of the links that we're going to put in the submission. Yeah. Cool. So um, right now, we, this SDK is actually usable on the Solana blockchain. Uh, we plan to support 
other blockchains as well because we see the future is is going to be cross-platform some developers want to build on ethereum others want to build on polygon others want to build on, on sui on aptos and bnb chain all of these are chains we 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 are, we're 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 actively planning to uh, to start developing but because we love chewing glass at mirror world we've we started with solana um, so how do you get started with the sdk it's relatively simple we built a developer dashboard and uh, that is where this uh, this cool guy that we saw earlier was sitting and um, uh, after you you create an account um, you can then create a, a new project and uh, when you've created your project it will you it will, it will prompt you to generate an api key with this api key uh, there it goes let's create uh, my solana what did I say it's uh, solana solana baby that's a cool project name and um, now i have an api key for it so with this now i can go and start developing i will uh, delete this api key later <laughs> since it's now shown and uh, then you can now install uh, the sdk on any desired client that you have on our github repository we have all the sdks we've published them there for this hackathon and then start building we've also deployed a documentation site so i'll just very quickly head on over to the documentation this is the documentation and uh, um, if you want to go to our github repository we'll also link to it right from the docs um, this is these are the sdks that we have and uh, yeah we've tried to document the sdk and how it works if you're using node.js i like typescript i use it a lot so you can uh, uh, install the mirrorworld sdk and you can get ready like with a few few lines of code now I, you have the users nfts is it literally close to maybe say 12 lines of code you have the users nfts and um, so it makes it very very simple uh, very simple to build on top of and you have uh, very little headache yeah cool and you can see the documentation i already mentioned this at docs.mirror.fun and i would like to thank the team that worked on this we have lila who is our systems engineer who worked on our a wallet security and tokenization as well as system design we have yoja worked on api infrastructure and the nft apis uh, bilal afzal he worked on our programs as well as the unity sdk suits young he recorded the android demo that you saw he worked on the android sdk as well as the unity sdk jalin is our product manager he helped us with uh, testing and making sure the sdk works in all the all the proper direction that it should go myself uh, i was mostly doing typescript work and helping everyone be productive and uh, Chris Ju, who's our CEO and uh, has given us a uh, great opportunity and great direction for something to work on. Yeah, and um, if you want to join our community, um, you simply visit mirrorworld.fun slash github or slash discord for discord slash telegram for telegram slash twitter for twitter. And, or you can email us at uh, mirrorworld at sdk at mirrorworld.fun. And uh, I'd like to thank you. And uh, yes, I wish you a great rest of your day.